to fans of alternative performance technology, a vehicle like the SLS Electric Drive is truly fascinating. And for that reason, among some others, it's one of my personal favourite cars. I'm not a huge fan of the SLS in general. Even the Black Edition doesn't really do it for me. This car, though, really does. And the reason why is nothing to do with saving the world or being a fashion statement. I love electric performance cars for the very simple fact that they offer a completely different performance experience to the traditional fuel burning engine. They give you instant torque and power, completely silent drive, and the opportunity, if the manufacturer so decides, of having total control over how much power and torque is delivered to every single wheel at any given portion of a second. And although the SLS electric drive is no longer among the very fastest of its type, back when it was released, it was. There was far, far less competition for this car when it was first produced. And although many people don't realise it, this car actually was produced. Mercedes built eight SLS electric drives, each with a price tag of well over 300 grand. Now their performance is no longer as quick as it was then. The top speed of 150 miles per hour, due to protecting the batteries, is no longer the fastest you can get. But the performance that it gives you, not to mention the fact that this is the most powerful AMG ever made, somewhat ironically, is still shockingly quick, no pun intended. This car can outperform the Black Series over a short drag distance, even though it weighs well over two tons. I love electric cars for the aforementioned reasons, and the fact that we can drive this silent chartreuse missile on Drive Club immediately gets my full support.